Hey everybody, it's week two of the Room of the Month Challenge. Thank you again to Heidi Sambo for hosting this challenge. Also find a playlist below for all of the girls participating. This week was, it's not like beautiful or anything. It's just stuff that has to get done. So you don't see big changes, but things need to come off the wall. Uh, crap needs to get out of the room, to be honest. And we just need to make this a blank slate so that we can make progress. So here's what I did this week or this last week. So I started taking down things off the wall. These were chore charts I once made that the kids no longer use. So they need to go down along with the sticky strips on the back. And then what I need to do is take this fun organizer down and then I took out all the nails and I will need to patch the nail holes up. Next, I took everything down from these shelves. These shelves have seen their better day. They're not even real wood or anything. It's time to freshen up the space. So I need to take everything down, knock those shelves out. It was actually harder than I anticipated, but I did end up figuring it out. So I tried knocking these shelves right out and realized that they were obviously screwed in. So I had to take a screwdriver and get those corner screws out. It was actually pretty simple, but I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. So this part was the simple part. It's the next part that had me a little bit confused, as you will see. So here is the problem here. All of these nail holes are covered with some type of putty and it was so hard and caked on there and I had no idea what I was going to do to get them out until I finally did some research on the internet. I'm sorry, the sound didn't work when I originally did it. So let me show you what I did after I took a little break and did some other things on the room. So oh, I switched gears for a second. I decided to fill in all the nail holes with some putty. And I like to use the pink kind because when it dries, you know, uh, when it dries, it's white. And then you know you're ready for painting. I did that all around the room. There were so many nail holes, but I only showed this right here. I also wanted to test out the green paint I decided to try. I'm still not sure if I'm going to do green at all or not. I just wanted to see how it looked. And I really do like the color to be honest. So now I just have to make up my mind, which is difficult for me to do. I am beyond thrilled that I finally figured out how to do this. The nail, I mean the screw, is coming out quite easily. Let me show you how I did that. So as you can probably hear in the background, I'm using a razor blade and chipping away at the wood and wood filler and doing my best to get down to the screw. And it took me a little bit, but it's not as hard as I thought it would be. And then once the screw showed, I was able to easily unscrew it. So if you have that problem, just take the razor blade and chip away at it. Also, I had to wear glasses because some of the little wood chips were flying up and I didn't want them to get in my eye. So just a little tip for you. The happiest part of this is that the boards removed quite easily once the screws were out and little damage was done. All I need to do is fill in the holes, so that makes me happy. And now it was finally time to remove this valence. We have had this up since we moved in 11 years ago and the people who lived in this house previous also had it up, so it was time to say goodbye to that. And then I also had to take Hank's name down so I will be able to paint underneath that and I may put them back up but I'm not sure yet.
please stay tuned for next week. That's week three. We should see some big transformations coming along and we'll see what color I actually choose. Do I stay with green? Do I go with the wood wallpaper? Or do I choose something different altogether? I am known to change things at the last minute. So we will see. Uh, this room's a little tricky for me because we could end up having more children. I'm not sure right now, but we think that may be in our future. So it's hard to plan for this room knowing that it will be set up for a boy's room, but eventually could be a girl's nursery if we were to have another baby and it be a girl. Anyway, so it's tricky to choose what to do, but we're going to go with it. We're going to do something because this room has sat for far too long. I can't wait to see you all next week. Talk to you soon. Bye.